Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to model MOSFETs and MOSFET amplifier circuits in PySpice and LTSpice. The metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or MOSFET was invented and commercialized in the 1960s. It is a four terminal device. The MOSFET terminals are labeled drain, gate, source, and substrate. The MOSFET has no PN junction structure. Instead, the gate of the MOSFET is insulated from the channel by a silicon dioxide layer. Compared to the BJT, which is a current control device, a MOSFET is a voltage control device. The MOSFET is by far the most widely used transistor in digital integrated circuits, such as memory chips and microprocessors. It is regarded as the most frequently manufactured artifact in human history. Recall that PySpice uses NGSpice as the back-end circuit simulator. This is the list of basic circuit elements currently implemented in PySpice, and it's no surprise that this list includes the MOSFET. NGSpice provides several MOSFET device models, which differ in the formulation of the current voltage characteristics. Level 1 is the most commonly used model, which is based on the quadratic approximation of the current voltage characteristics. This model is commonly used in introductory electronic textbooks. Level 2 is a semiconductor physics based model, while level 3 is a semi empirical model which uses measured device data. BSIM, which stands for Berkeley Short Channel Insulated Gate Field Effect Transistor, refers to a family of MOSFET models for integrated circuit design. Many other MOSFET models for integrated circuits are also available, and these are mostly empirical models. In PySpice, the models can be selected using the syntax shown here by choosing the appropriate level. The MOSFET Level 1 model has close to 40 parameters in total. The important parameters are KP is the transconductance parameter, VTO is the threshold voltage, Lambda is the channel length modulation parameter. Gamma is the bulk threshold parameter. And Phi is the surface potential. In introductory electronics textbooks, typically only the values of Kp and Vto are specified and can be explicitly set in the model it is okay to leave other parameters at their reasonable default values. A common MOSFET model used in introductory electronics textbooks is 2N7000. This model can be specified in PySpice by setting the transconductance and the threshold values as shown here. LT Spice also has a large library of MOSFET models. This can be accessed by placing the NMOS symbol onto the schematic and then right clicking it to bring up this menu shown here. By clicking on the Pick New MOSFET, we can select a MOSFET model. The 2N7000 model is unfortunately not available in LTSpice by default. However, it can be easily added by following the instructions shown here. This procedure of adding a MOSFET model to LTSpice 
is very similar to adding a diode or BJT model to LT SPICE, which has been discussed in detail in other videos in this channel. The link to those videos is provided at the end of this video. This is a complete common source MOSFET amplifier in LT SPICE. We are using the 2N7000 MOSFET model. The input is a 0.1 volt peak 1 kHz sine wave and we are running a transient simulation. When we simulate and look at the input and the output, we can see that the output voltage has a peak of around 2 volt. Hence, this circuit is providing a gain of about minus 20 since the output is 180 degrees out of phase with the input. Sometimes, it is desirable to specify the MOSFET channel length and width. This can be done in LT SPICE by selecting the monolithic MOSFET component which is available as NMOS4 below NMOS. Place this component on the schematic and then right click to bring up the menu shown here. The length and width can be specified here. Afterwards, to make the length and width visible on the schematic, Press CTRL and right click on the symbol menu. This brings up the component attribute editor. Enable the visibility option and press OK. This then will display the length and width onto the schematic. Finally, to define, finally define a SPICE directive as shown here to associate the appropriate model with the symbol. This is the same circuit as before, but now using a monolithic MOSFET with length and width of the channel defined. When we simulate, we can obtain the input and output voltages as before. Note that also we have defined the model for the MOSFET as a SPICE directive here. This is the same common source amplifier circuit modeled in PySpice. Using descriptive node labeling, we can translate the circuit diagram into a circuit netlist as shown here. We define the 2N7000 NMOS level 1 model as shown here. It is also possible to define the length and width using the syntax shown here. The MOSFET 4 terminal connections for the drain, gate, source and substrate are specified. Please pause the video now if you wish to study the circuit netlist in more detail. This is the complete PySpice code to simulate the MOSFET amplifier circuit. We have standard declarations at the top followed by the circuit netlist. Using the standard techniques covered in introductory electronics textbooks, we can carry out the theoretical DC bias and small signal AC analysis for this circuit. We use the quadratic approach in the DC bias analysis. In the AC analysis, we calculate the small signal model transconductance GM using the device parameters and the DC bias values. Finally, we can display the DC and AC parameter values as well as the plots. The complete code is provided in the video comments section below. When we simulate, 
we can obtain the theoretical values as well as the the simulation results we can see that the simulation uh, output voltage peak is around 2.1 volts which is close to the lt spice result the theoretical value has a peak of around 3 volts since it is based on many simplified assumptions. In summary, in this video, we have seen how to model MOSFETs in PySpice and LTSpice. We have also simulated a MOSFET amplifier circuit using the 2N7000 model. I hope the video is helpful to your learning. Thank you for watching the video and supporting this channel.